Attention NASA! Hello from out of space! <laughs> Welcome back everyone to another episode of More Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou. And you're not gonna believe this, but I am sick again. I went to an urgent care today. I have like four new meds to take. It's so much, friends. Deep breathing and drinking lots of tea. Mm. So I thought about what I could do that would be easy. And I was like, maybe let's do makeup to tricking people into thinking you're not sick. But it's a really long title. You really really can't. Like you can just tell by looking at me I'm congested probably. It's all an adventure friend. So I'm just gonna do my makeup. This is gonna be a get ready with me. We're gonna talk about whatever we want to talk about. More tea though. Mm. It's nighttime. I'm home alone. I'm not going anywhere. I just decided to do my makeup. <laughs> So I haven't moisturized my face since this morning, but I'm gonna prime with a moisturizing primer because yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> yeah, so I had a crazy day. Tips if you have to go to an urgent care or a doctor's office where you will probably wait a long time. Bring snacks, bring water, bring something that doesn't depend on Wi-Fi, like a book. Bring a phone charger. And you know what? Just bring a tent and a sleeping bag while you're at it. Uh, always me and sinus things, man. Okay, that was the e.l.f. hydrating primer. It's not my favorite primer, but it's cruelty free and it's cheap. Speaking of cruelty free and cheap and vegan, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Conceal. So I had like a crazy first week of the year already. Everything just kind of happened at once. Good things, really good things. Like a huge goal of mine last year was to work on becoming a working voice actor. I just like, oh, it just feels so good. It feels like the right place for me. And I'm getting reclumped. And I really wanted to have a reel so that I can get representation. And guess what I did on January 2nd? I recorded a freaking voiceover demo reel. Very exciting. It was so much work. I wrote all my own scripts and everything. I'm so proud of myself. Look, I look more alive kind of already. What are some of your goals for 2018? I would actually really like to know. I'm all about setting, you know, like having big goals and then breaking them into bite-sized pieces. You know, I have a goal of being able to make a living as a creative person. And that's a pretty big one. And one of the stepping stones to that is becoming a voice actor and also becoming a YouTuber, which I already am. So that's pretty dope. But finding ways to make money creatively that I really enjoy. NYX HD Finishing Powder PS. This stuff is amazing. Now I look like a ghost. Mm. All right, all right. Now we're gonna contour like we're going out tonight, but you, I'm not, you know I'm not. <laughs> This is that magical elf contour palette. And if you don't accomplish goals in the amount of time that you want to, not to beat yourself up about it. That's a big thing. Practicing self-compassion is a big thing for me. I'm a very driven individual. Wet n Wild, Mele Wan. You remember this from my fall makeup tutorial. It's just so easy to be so hard on yourself. The negativity that comes with that and then the just like way you view yourself, it's not good. So who's with me on the self-compassion journey? Raise your hand. I've been in the habit of contouring and blushing before I do eyes or brows or anything. This is a good sick tip. I was given the tip to put blush on your nose so it looks more like your face. But also, if you're sick and you have to keep blowing your nose, then if some of your nose makeup comes off, it's less noticeable if it's already kind of the color of your nose anyway. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, that's contour and blush. Gertsturf. Okay, 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 brow time. I just do only about that much because we're gonna go in with powder. Back into that elf palette, you know the deal by now. One, two, one, two. Is anyone else sick right now? <laughs> Are we going through this together? I hope you are all in good health. Okay, brows. We're going a little bushy boy brow today, huh? All right, now I'm gonna brush through that with a spoolie. How are we gonna do shadow today? In the past, I've been kind of like, meh, about New Year's resolutions. It's because I don't think you should have to wait for the beginning of the year to make goals. I think that that is silly. I set goals all year round, but it is kind of nice to have like a collective, hey, everyone is trying to make themselves and the world around them a better place. Like as a like a hoorah all at the same time. Like that part is cool. 2018 goals. I'm gonna get an eyeshadow palette. I have a couple, but 
they're just not pigmented, really powdery, not like all of the above really. In 2018, I will do a makeup tutorial that actually includes eyeshadow. Okay, so now that's a good base. I got a new product a couple of days ago and I tried it a little bit, but then I've been sick for the last three days and haven't had a drop of makeup on my face. Milani is a cruelty-free makeup brand and I think that's really great. It was all over PETA's website. A lot of their products are vegan as well. But I found this guy and this has three colors that I like to use a lot. It has like a pinky color, a bronzy color, and then a light color. This is candle in candlelight. This is their number two. All right, I'm gonna go in with the brown color and pull it all over the lid because why not? I was thinking about this. Another goal that I maybe should have, I should like allow myself to miss days when I'm like ill or really busy or something. I'm just afraid if I cut myself that little bit of slack, then everything is just gonna fall apart. And of course that's irrational. <laughs> so I'm debating if I should be like, maybe I should make a healthy goal of being like, if you need to miss one episode or week of episodes here and there, it's okay. Your life won't fall apart, but you know. I'm tenacious as all get out. I really like this color on the lids. I think it's really pretty. This is one of the better highlighters that I've ever used actually. So now that you've shared with me your goals for the year, what are some of the things that you would wanna see from the channel? I've been meaning to ask, but like what kind of stuff do you like seeing? Do you like these casual get to chat videos? Do you like makeup videos? Do you like the floaty lifestyle videos? Do you like learning about what different kinds of tea, like the tea of the month videos? What do you like to see from the channel? Or does it not really matter? Do you like to just hang out and have somewhere to be every Tuesday and Sunday? Honestly, I'm probably gonna finish this makeup and then go pass out for like three hours. <laughs> hey! So now I'm gonna use that same highlighter and I'm going to do like a quick swipe in the pink and then a couple swipes in that lightest shade. Whoa, that looks insane on camera. Cupid's bow, same mix of colors. Because the show is just, it's all things that I love and I just, I wanna know what you guys connect with the most. Oh, attention NASA. Hello from out of space. <laughs> Woof, whoosh. All right, so now that I'm a planet, let's do mascara. This is just the e.l.f. volumizing. Nothing on the lower lashes. My allergies are so severe. I just, I can't. I've gotta say friends, this Milani highlighter, 10 out of 10 to recommend to a friend. It's so good. All right, now for lips. So this is a really good hack for the cold weather. And if you're sick and you just don't care as much, because like, honestly, if you're in a situation where you're blowing your nose, you don't wanna worry about wearing a lipstick. But what I do do is I will tint a lip moisturizer. So I just have like your generic lip balm. And then again with that balm stain. This works really well. I've used like even matte lipsticks translate well into this, at least the ones that I've tried. Mix that on your lips so that you don't have to sacrifice the need for hydration and have it be a pain in the butt to blow your nose. We just have like a tinted lip balm, so that's nice. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I was excited to try out my new highlighter on camera and to just take it easy with you today. Thanks for talking about your goals and other things and what you wanna see from the channel. It's been nice chatting with you. It's always so good to just sit and have a nice cup of tea with you. Mm. If you are sick, I hope that you are resting up so you can feel right as rain to really get going on your stuff in the new year. Thank you so much for joining me. It means so much. And last and most importantly of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching this episode of More Mary. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the red subscribe button below and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Our family's almost at 400 and it's blowing my mind and it's amazing. So if you're new, welcome. If you've been here, go, you know what to do. If you wanna hang out every day of the week and not just here on YouTube on Sundays and Tuesdays, all my social media links are down below. My Patreon is up and running if you wanna support tea parties just like this one. And that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful new year. Mwah! Oh, the time.